All right, guys, we're, we're going in. This is Neon. This is Clownfish Gaming. This is gaming news on Clownfish Gaming. And we're going to talk about the situation with this new Steam game, The Coffin of Andy and Laylee, which looks like a cute, gothy kind of Adams Family kind of a game, right? Well, there's a lot of controversy around this game because uh, these characters are romantically entangled. However... Uh, they're also siblings. So, yeah. <laughs> this is a thing. This is uh, making making some uh, gamers very, very uncomfortable. And uh, they don't have to buy the game. You don't have to play the game. And this is not something uh, I have any intention of playing on this channel. Uh, but it definitely is getting all kinds of rave reviews, uh, shockingly. Uh, over 4,000 positive reviews. 98% uh, positive uh, you know, but they're, they're going after the developer. They're ranting about it on Twitter. It doesn't seem to be affecting the game uh, that negatively. I think as long as people know what they're in for and they realize that this game is not for kids, definitely not for kids. Uh, you know, and then they can also realize at the end of the game, we're talking about, you know, fictional cartoon characters, but, uh, it is what it is. So let's talk about the drama around the coffin of Andy and Laylee. Again, not a game that we're gonna play on the channel here. I don't think, I don't think, I don't know. Any of you wanna see it now? Oh, no, we're not gonna play it. But uh, we'll talk about it. We'll try to understand the controversy. If you haven't subscribed already, please do so for more gaming news here on Clownfish Gaming and also gameplay videos. Lots of gameplay videos. Go out and watch our gameplay videos. Please watch our gameplay videos, especially the Animal Crossing videos. They're, they're lots of fun. We just like totally riff on Animal Crossing. Uh, we don't have any subplots with siblings being romantically entangled uh, however so let's let's talk about this um we're gonna go out to niche gamer they've been covering this <laughs> they've been covering this game uh extensively and uh they said yeah social media is disgusted by the coffin of andy and Laylee. uh uh romantic entanglement subplot that's what i'm gonna talk about they said the twitter users are offended by the inclusion of the brotherly sisterly love subplot uh, even though the game is about cannibalism <laughs> uh, and the developer even anticipated this inevitable whining so that's that's interesting uh, there's a moment in the game where the female character Ashley the sister of Andrew is given a pendant from a demon that gives her bad visions and her brother Andrew suggests they both hold at the same time and see if they witness the same thing resulting in an ending where the vision depicts them being very, very close, very close, right? It's, it's an ending. I think it's, I think it's a uh, multiple endings, right? So there we go. Yeah. That's not a thing that you're going to see in a Mario game. I don't think, I don't know. I, I'm sure there's artwork of that Mario and Luigi, but uh, yeah, some of the comments upset by this imaginary element. And there are plenty of others who could tell the difference between fiction and reality uh, that were fine with it. Oh, geez. Okay. Um, cry about it. The dev literally made this, <laughs> uh, not gonna lie. I'll beat the F F out of the dev and everyone who supports this. I have to start laying my hands on y'all. Uh, you should not, you should not, uh, threaten actual physical violence on Twitter over a fictional video game. This game is not beating the allegations. Cry about it. When I spawn thorns inside their eyeballs. What? Incels are defending this God send the flood, flood faster. Send the flood faster, God. Uh, the incels like this game. Anyway, play Super Mario Wonder. Super Mario Wonder is a damn good game. It's a damn good game. But there, there's no, again, no uh, subplot like that that I'm aware of. Uh, God, I hope not. But I'm sure there's art of it out there somewhere. Me when I'm in a waste, uh, wasted potential competition and my opponent is the dev of whatever this... Uh, blankety blank game is cry about it. This actually makes me laugh because uh, how blanking of a loser this whoa bleep bleepity bleep bleep dev having to do an entire art to tell people they're weird bleepity bleep bleep. I, we don't swear on this channel as much as we do the other one, but I do want to reiterate uh, it might not be everybody's cup of tea, but uh, 4,200 overwhelmingly positive reviews. And some of that might be just to uh, make Twitter angry. You know, make Twitter angry. Me when I'm in a degenerate competition and my opponent is someone who, oh God, yeah. So it goes on and on and on. I like this. 
The game is made for Freakazoids and on. Oh, this one, they're hoping that the dev gets their house nuked. Oh, this is fantastic. Fan freaking tastic. Uh, yeah, but there are other games out there without these these elements in them. And, uh, you know, you can you can play those. Uh, you can play those, but this just, oh my God, it just goes on and on and on and on and on. Social media is still upset. <laughs> it's just a couple days ago over the coffin of Andy and Laylee. Despite the fact that there is now 4,200. Now I checked uh, yesterday or the day before and there were only like 3,500 positive reviews. Now there's like 4,200. So apparently... Either this game is really good or there are just a lot of freaky people that are into this stuff. Or yes, I, I don't know. Uh, here's an image celebrating the game's high abundance of positive Steam reviews. Uh, I'm guessing that most people complaining about the game haven't seen anything about the game itself. I came here for the cannibalism and the devil worship. So you're gonna you're gonna be <laughs> you're gonna be concerned about a relationship uh, which apparently is a dream sequence or something. Uh, between these two characters, these cartoon characters, when it also has cannibalism and devil worship. Um, I don't know. I'm not disappointed. It's spooky month, after all. Can we say that? There's also this thing called Not Replying, just in case. It's one of the best horror games I've played this year. Hmm. I liked it. It has a lot of charm. I'm interested to see what happens next. It's a genuinely good game. Shame that a lot of people write it off because of the meme. Uh, yeah, so it's just like, exactly which thing. Now, the funny thing is, is a lot of these people, uh, a lot of these people are probably totally into shipping other cartoon characters, I bet. But, um, you know, again, this is not uh, not something I think we're going to play on the channel. We kind of kind of try to keep it uh, uh, PG-13 at most. And this game is not uh, PG-13. Hey, you could you could buy Poyo Poyo Tetris 2. There you go. Um... <laughs> Ever consider that the reason why the reviews are 98% positive is because normal people won't waste uh, 10 pounds on a game that looks like it's been written by a 14-year-old who just discovered dark themes. I don't know. It's overwhelmingly positive. So here is uh, Know Your Meme. Know Your Meme. And they go into it a little bit more. So this is for everything you wanted to know without playing the game, I guess, because... Uh, who knows? Who knows? Or you could just go play the game and figure it out. A new psychological horror game has slowly been building a following online with fans loving the comedic twist indie developer uh, Nemle gave to their two cannibalistic protagonists. The game follows Andrew and Ashley Graves, a codependent team of siblings that share a bond more toxic than their dietary habits. Uh, lots of Rule 34 art. Oh, God. Um, psychological horror game. Why did it grow popular? The audience and fan base for the coffin grew largely due to word of mouth and due to the uh, virality of Let's Play style videos posted throughout 2023. YouTuber Many Badass Heroes video of the game gathered over 2 million views, while YouTuber Gaming with Kev's upload gathered over 400,000 views. How did fans react to it? Fans began making art and fan content, referencing the game and its characters, with much of such media being concentrated on a subreddit dedicated to the game called called r slash coffin of Andy and Laylee. In April 2023, YouTuber Duxin posted a fan animation that gathered over 300,000 views. What are the more than sibling speculation? While the first chapter of the coffin does not explicitly define the possible romantic relationship, yikes, between the siblings, the pair's codependency has nonetheless led to speculations in Rule 34 style art depicting the two in compromising situations. Uh, yeah, they're very, very, uh, very close. And apparently that was a dream sequence or something, but, uh, people are very angry about this game. It is growing, uh, quite a following online though. Um, so I don't know, maybe it's just a, a spicier Five Nights at Freddy's. Uh, we'll see. Will they get a movie? Will they get a live action movie? Will it make lots of money? I don't know. I'm going to wrap this one up. Please subscribe for more gaming content, more gaming news and gameplay videos here on Clownfish Gaming. Thanks for watching. See you later. Thanks for watching. If you like this content and want to see more, please subscribe and ring the bell for notifications and check out more videos on the channel, including Let's Plays in art and animation videos here on Clownfish Gaming. Now he's just tasty, delicious, rotten flesh meat, which I can consume. Don't read into it too much. Just like our museum, the cafe, it's open and brewed through the eager to serve.
I don't think this was in the show. No, run, 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 run. Oh, oh you got splatted. No. Oh, wait, oh, wait, oh she was begging and what? you kicked her in the face. I don't care. Hey, guys, Squid King here, and today we're in a... Not girl boss, not girl boss at all. She is not a material girl. She is not. Oh, it's Christmas time here in your mom. Nobody wants to join your mom. What? Like, I can't even cook kid cuisine right. I would last about two minutes with Gordon Ramsay. What? Where is he? He's hiding. He's hiding from you. He better. Oh my god, you got the axe. Walker, does this look like Steven Universe? Let me punch him. Well, I'm just here for the wax. Okay. Ah! Right where you belong. Get in the dirt. Well, that was a combination of events I probably shouldn't have put together. Anyways, let's open this bottle too. Chica Pinata. Is that official? Oh, no. There's a bootleg. Hello. Hey guys, it's Diamond Tool. Let's make a farm. Like and subscribe, buy my merch. I mean, while you're here, you guys should like really like and subscribe and buy our merch, all of which we have. <laughs> that is true. Can't run him carrying trash. You can get away with one F-bomb per PG-13 movie. Oh, I wish I'd yeah. known that sooner. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna wrap this effort up. Yes. <laughs>